as you just saw, I built this! A snake terrarium coffee table. I built this about 8 months ago, so this video is long overdue. But yeah, I'm just gonna talk about it and tell you how I did it. So, as base I chose um, just a simple IKEA table. It's not a coffee table, but it's um, furniture to put your television on. And I'm gonna butcher this pronunciation, but it's called fit Fitcho? I don't know. A friend of mine actually had this table as just like a table. And when I saw it, I came on with the idea to just like make the terrarium into that, but with like a second story. I'll show you the like the inside in a bit, but I thought it would be cool because just like to give to give folks something to climb on, even though like ball pythons or ground snakes, it would be cool to give give her like an extra platform. Now there's like it's high enough to do that, you know. <laughs> so first, I want to talk about the outside. Um, this is all plexiglass, and I chose to work with this material because um, it actually holds humi humidity and uh, heat way better than glass and um, these are a bit tinted I thought it would be cool to give her some privacy I guess but it's just like slightly tinted so it doesn't do much but it still looks cool the top is plexiglass as well but this is not tinted and I, I saw some like circles in it because my mom has like a circle saw thingy, I don't know the English word but I did that so the heat can release a bit and um, yeah I screwed the heat lamp and, and, and everything, the heat cage on top of that now it's not secured, like I can take this out but with um, the stuff that's laying on the table like here are candles which are like in crystals so it's all together quite heavy in the corners so she, she can't lift it up but it is, um, like I can easily take it out if I take everything away but it's actually easier to clean or if I have to replace the, the lamp or something the bottom bit is the wood uh, plank thingy and I sealed that with silicon so if she would knock over her water dish, which, which she does a lot <laughs> it won't leak like onto, onto the floor uh, and I glued everything with this I bought this at some website that sold a bunch of things to actually make your terrariums yourself I also got this these uh, metal air vents from there as well and this is just it's so strong and it's it worked super easy so I recommend this stuff so now I'll show you the inside and the door because this is the only bit that I haven't really figured out that I haven't really fixed it yet and it's the lock this is just some random pin because I attached this for an actual lock but I couldn't find screws small enough that would go with the lock which was just really stupid so now it actually works quite well but in the corners because plexiglass is kind of um, how you call it like flexible so it would she would be able to push open the side so this and this is it looks very bad but it's just a lid from a can but it works well <laughs> it just looks a bit stupid and I do want to fix this but I mean it works because else like if I like she would be able to push this open this is how it opens I have two and um, you're spooky and then it opens like this we're gonna stay in here so this is the terrarium on the inside plant is kind of dying but it's winter it's just so dark inside so no plants in here will survive so this is the heat lamp it's ceramic and it just gives off heat but no light um, always use something protective like K9 
cage like this or like there are a couple of different brands that make these kind of stuff but like the lamp gets so hot so it needs some protective cage and it's also this cage ca came with the fitting so all together it's it's the heat lamp <laughs> then underneath this is just some metal box that i found in the thrift store that fits perfectly and because it's metal it also gets quite nice and warm because this is the warm side then I have some pebbles and some fake plants. Um, this is the extra story. It's glass and this massive, like, look how big this is. Like it's a mountain crystal, but because it's in the middle, like it won't tilt over if she's on there because she is fucking heavy. She is a junk. This is a fake plant. And then the real plant that's dying. Then Spooky is just hanging out here. Her water dish. A hide, which is just a planter. And then a piece of, like a bit of the back wall, which is also from Ikea, just to give her some privacy. And she's on top of it, but here is some moss for humidity. And that's it. And Spoke seems super chill. Often she will lay on this as well. Sometimes in the morning I'll just wake up and I walk in here. And because she's old, she's like pure white, so you can easily. Oh no, she's drinking! Oh, that's so cute. But yeah, you can easily spot her because she's all white. And then I immediately, immediately notice when she lays on here. But yeah, she uses all the bits the warm spot, the. This height. I think she quite like it. She came from a breeder, so she was just in a plastic top before, which I'm actually quite against. So that's yeah. I think this is definitely an upgrade for her. And underneath it, I can't quite show it right now, but there's the heat mat underneath it. Um, there is some space between the floor and the like the ter terrarium, and I just put the heat mat on top of like an old mug so it will keep it up <laughs> against the, the wood and it works quite well it's nice and warm so the whole thing was actually quite easy to do like I never built something like this myself but it was so much fun to do so and I also had so much fun to design the whole thing it was quite a project I loved it so thank you for watching if you have any questions down below about my snakes or snake keeping or just the terrarium, feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to see more <laughs> things, then definitely like and subscribe and everything. And yeah, thanks for watching.